match with a murderer on tinder this claim is not my story time all of this happened two years ago and if you are on a dating app please be careful i matched with this really really cute guy on tinder he said he was a doctor and he had all of these pictures to back it up so i completely believed him when he said he was an oncologist i was 22 at the time and i realized that we did have a big age gap you see he was 36 we talked on tinder for a couple of days and then we moved over to text message and he was so charming he was reciting poetry to me we even discussed the movie pride and prejudice looking back now he asked me all of my favorite things things and from there he started talking to me about my favorite movies my favorite actors favorite foods i mean he even sent me recipes he was perfectly charming in every single way he finally asked me out on a date and we went to a beautiful expensive dinner the restaurant was right by a river then he surprised me with the boat ride on the river the date was magical almost too good to be true then things just got really strange he was texting me non-stop for two days asking me how i was literally asking me what i ate for dinner all over me that's when he shows up unannounced to my apartment and he's carrying a huge duffel bag i mean huge and super heavy and he tells me that his apartment flooded and that he didn't have anybody else to stay with essentially asking me if he could stay at my place i really didn't know if i should but i thought what's the worst that could happen we already went on a date i told him he could sleep on my couch but that nothing would happen between us he agreed and promised that he wouldn't try to make any moves on me he comes in puts his bag down and just starts making dinner in my kitchen he made soup and a beautiful salad when i tried the soup it tasted horrible the first thing that ran through my mind was oh my gosh did he put something in this but i couldn't believe that that would even be a possibility we watched a movie and then i went to bed i was wake up to banging on my door at two in the morning do you know how scary that is he yells i left my phone in there i need to get it out then i realized hold on a second you didn't even come into my bedroom first i pretended to be asleep just to not have to open but then he kept banging louder and then his voice got angry he said i know you're awake just let me in i finally said sorry i'm not gonna let you in you're acting strange then he laughed and said oh my gosh stop being so dramatic just let me in but i did not i didn't tell him but i called the cops luckily i lived two minutes away from the police station he did not know this i went into my bathroom and told the cops to come right away for the next two minutes he went silent i pressed my ear to the door i could hear him unzipping something putting stuff down and suddenly he starts banging on the door again that's when the cops knock on my door and he goes to open 10 seconds later the cops knock on my door and tell me it's safe to come out but the cop says be prepared for what you're about to see i open my door and there on my living room floor there's a plastic tarp knives handcuffs whips apparently this guy had been terrorizing women all around town but fortunately he had not unalived anybody he would essay them and then tie them up and do things but none of these women had reported him except for me he went to prison and called me apologizing. Be careful out there.